Appalachian Wireless has some of the best data rates in wireless on our plans, and not to mention an amazing deal on one of our hottest smartphones. But that's all the time I have to explain. See store for details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Future captains of industry were being recognized today at the University of Pikeville for the first annual Lieutenant Governor's Entrepreneurship Challenge, a contest that pits some of the very best ideas from across the state with nearly $100,000 of scholarship money at stake. Lieutenant Governor Janine Hampton says that the ideas put forward by the students in the contest have been very exciting. It's been very impressive. Uh, I, I, tell, I tell these guys, I tell young people especially, you know, they have a fresh set of eyes. Uh, they look at the world differently. They have a toolbox that for us, you know, for us, for example, the iPhone is something new and exciting, but for them it's old hat. So their toolbox is, is far well, more well stocked than mine was uh, when I was their age. And so they see opportunity where others just see problems. And the, we've, we've just seen some wonderful ideas. One of the two teams from Region 5 hailed from Wolf County and will now move on to the state finals in Lexington. The pair say they are so proud their hard work has paid off. When I heard the W in Wolf County, I was like, I, was, I thought I was going to cry. I was like, oh my gosh, because coming into it, um, we were a little bit of an underdog in a way, per se, but um, we... The, I, I felt really good about you know the pitch and the judges and just really lucky and just really happy to yep. be advancing. We're just like very happy to like be able to go off and like represent what we do and we yeah. worked really hard for this for sure. Yeah, it's just kind of seeing all of our hard work pay off now. The state finals are scheduled for Saturday, April 29th at the University of Kentucky in Lexington. Reporting from Pikeville, I am Jackson Latta for EKB News.